Hey, how's it going guys? Captain Cuba here, and today marks the start of this channel making videos after the announcement of God of War Ragnarok. This game is scheduled to release sometime in 2021, and I as a God of War YouTuber feel the responsibility to catch you up with everything I know about the series leading up to the sequel. So today I'm happy to tell you that I finally have enough lore material to make a video on the Travelers. The Travelers are by far one of the coolest looking enemies from God of War 4. They're armored from head to toe, some of them have shields on their back that force the player to find different ways of taking them down, but as much as the Travelers are fun to fight, the game doesn't really give us anything when it comes to the lore of who they are. We have to consult outside sources for that, like the God of War art book and the latest God of War book, Lore and Legends. The art book says, The Travelers are the strongest non-mythical enemies the player encounters. These powerful warriors travel the land gaining both physical and magical knowledge to aid them in combat. While this is not much to go on, we now know that these warriors look for magical abilities throughout the world. And the cool thing about this is that the game confirms this claim. If you use photo mode on one of the travelers, you will find a number of odd items on their person, like a shriveled hand and a lizard's foot. Neither one of these body parts can be linked to any enemies from the game, which makes me think the travelers got them from where they originate, or maybe even another pantheon. I know this sounds like a weird theory, but I think there's proof. If you keep looking around their body, you will find an even weirder item, the head of a goblin. At first I thought this was the head of a shadow, also known as human reavers who have learned see your magic. But if you compare their heads, you will see that they don't look anything alike. A shadow's head is elongated and even comes with a beard, while the one on the Travelers is smaller, has pointy ears and even sharp teeth. If you compare it to a classical depiction of a goblin, you will see the similarities. But what exactly does this mean? To my knowledge, goblins are not part of Norse mythology. They don't really come from any mythology, they belong to European folklore. But given how the God of War universe is just one big planet containing old pantheons and folklore together, it could be the case that Travelers left Midgard and came across these tiny monsters and captured them. They must have found them useful because if you wait long enough while fighting one of the Travelers, they will take one of their goblin heads and smash it against the ground for a powerful wave attack, which would be consistent with what the art book says about them. Now, while this is very interesting, we still don't know where they come from or who they are. For this question, we will have to turn to the latest God of War book called Lore and Legends. Now, interesting enough, more information about them is not found in the bestiary, but instead the full timeline of the Norse world. This is what it says. 89 years ago, Odin creates the Traveler religion to conscript great warriors unknowingly into his search for a path to Jotunheim. So apparently Odin has created a religion dedicated to look for a path to Jotunheim called the Travelers. This right off the bat disproves one of my theory videos. In this video I say that Odin and the Asgardian gods have already found a way into Jotunheim and are simply trying to stop Ragnarok from happening again. But since the Travelers are still working to find a way into Jotunheim, we can say that Odin has not been successful yet. But what does this leave us with the Travelers? Did Odin brainwash warriors from Medgard to work for him? I don't think so. Instead, I believe Odin has recruited a group of warriors from the halls of Valhalla to do his bidding. If you don't remember, Valhalla is the place where all the souls of the worthy warriors go to rest. Here they drink, eat, and fight for centuries until the time comes for them to fight in Ragnarok, alongside their king, as seen in this mural. Now why do I think the Travelers are warriors from Valhalla and not Midgard? For proof, I point to an item that can be collected in the game. According to the God of War wiki, after defeating a Traveler, Kratos will pick up a piece of his armor that reads, A severed piece of a Traveler's defeated foe, kept as a token of Asgardian magic. So if their armor was made in Asgard, and Valhalla is within Asgard, then most likely the Travelers come from there as well. Now as to how Odin convinced these warriors to leave the fun place that is Valhalla to go look for a way into Jotunheim remains a mystery. But most likely Odin used a magic spell very similar to the one Freya used on Mimir, to brainwash these warriors into doing his bidding. This last part is just a theory I have, so we'll have to wait until God of War Ragnarok releases to learn more about the Travelers. Even though there's no proof for this, I still believe we will go to Valhalla in the next game, since Kratos dies, goes to the Underworld and escapes many times. At this point, it's almost traditional for the series to do something like this. If my theory is correct, then we'll see a lot of travelers in Valhalla. But for that, we will have to wait until the game comes out. So there you go, Mason, my traveler video. Are you happy with the channel now? For those of you who don't know, Mason has been asking me to do a traveler video since 2018. But anyway, what did you guys think about the lore behind the travelers? Did you know that they used a goblin's head to attack Kratos? Did you also know they were a part of a religion to look for a path into Jotunheim? Whatever your thoughts are, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Before I go, I want to give a shout out to Luciano Fang over at Twitter for making all of these hilarious fan arts of myself. I think we're calling them Cubatos at the moment. So if you want to do something like this, or even tag me on anything God of War related, 
make sure to follow me at Captain Cuba on Twitter. As always, I would like to thank all of my members for their support of the channel. People like Alex JKR, Davy Jones, and John Sheets, to name a few, really go above and beyond to support this channel. I would also like to thank all of my subscribers for liking and sharing my content. This channel would be nothing without you guys. And with that said, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And as always, remember, go forth in the name of Ragnarok.